Manchester United 3 West Ham Egg <laughs> 0 uh, Manchester United beat West Ham on the day at Old Trafford uh, in the Premier League now I have to admit that I didn't watch the first half or most of the second half I was actually playing football with some old ladies with me so um, I couldn't I didn't get to watch the game but I saw the highlights after the game I played with the whole heads and um, Manchester United not on performance but based on highlights I saw we're doing decent, you know, Hoyland is on a roll, man. Hoyland is getting into the goals. This is what I'm talking about. Some players just some players are just like uh you know like frying pots, isn't me? When you put the pop the frying pot on a stove, it's not going to get hot eventually. It's going to get hot eventually, but it's not going to get hot immediately. You have to turn on the stove for it to get hot. It's going to get time to get hot. Hoyland is that frying pot. Give him time and he'll score goals. Persons are right enough. Hoyland off after he's played off what? After seventeen games and he has one or two Premier League goals. Now he has four Premier League goals, if not five. So all the way in the second half of the season, he's gonna build on that. And he scored on his birthday. His hap is is twenty one. Is twenty one. Is twenty first <laughs> birthday. So yeah, that's good on him, man. But yeah, in terms of the performance that I didn't watch, but we beat West Ham three nil. Gonna go get a go, go get a goal in the second half. It was deflected, um, but it was still a goal. It was in his name, and he got the third goal. Good run from Scott McTominay. Pressed um, Calvin Phillips. What a trash footballer! I don't know how this bridging is at Manchester City and win win trophies at Manchester City. I don't know what lured this player to Manchester City in the first place. But McTominay, if a player of McTominay is pressing you and possesses you of the ball, you know, so you're not a good player. Because Scott McTominay is not a good player, but he's, he pressed Calvin Phillips. And because he after he pressed Calvin Phillips, he ran with the ball and gave Gonach on right hand side. Gonach finished it to the far post. So it was a very good finish, isn't it? Me? Um, we, we proceed, we advance in the table. We have we got three points, we got a clean sheet, we got three goals. So, ain't much to complain about, man. Um, I didn't see much to say about Rashford, I didn't see much to say about Bruno Fernandes. Um, what I could say is that have ha, uh, Harry Maguire actually started. Something that bewildered me was, um, Lynch Lissandra Martinez, I believe he came on. I believe he came on and in a couple of minutes I saw him coming off. I'm like, what's that? What's that about? Isn't me? I think he got an injury or, injury or something. And then Lindelof came on for him. <laughs> I've never seen that before. A player just come on and in a couple of minutes he came off. Isn't me? Uh, so I, th I don't know. But let's focus on the game itself. We got three points. Who would have thought that we have gotten, would have gotten um, three, uh, three points in our last two games? Although everything I got and most of most of the fan bases everything I out, in terms of you know dignity, in terms of integrity, is me. We're actually we're Manchester United, so wh whoever the manager is, we still expect to win the game that we're we're given. Is me. We we can't control the games that we're given, so we have to go deal with it and get three the three points right. So we'll get three points off of Wolves after, you know, ah uh, emotionally up and down roller coaster ride in that game because we could have lost that game we could have even drawn that game but is me we won that game with a Kobe minor game of a Kobe minor goal now in this game we convincingly beat West Ham is me we convincingly beat West Ham so and Onana got a clean sheet you know I know that's a foreign concept to Onana but he got a clean sheet so this is something to build on this is the momentum that we should build on given the fact that although all things considered we do not want this manager to stay in this city of manchester united as manchester united manager we want him out but despite that that should not stop us from getting points because i know some united fans and i'm like this sometimes my, my mouth is dry where we want the manager out so badly that would actually want us to lose games I'm to the point where, bro, we need to get games, man. We need to win our games, get three points. The players still need to score goals. Our attackers need to score goals. Anthony, I mean, he wasn't, you know, pulling up trees, but he wasn't doing as badly as usual. You know, he was uh, trying to pick out a pass. When Fernandez, by the looks of it, was trying to actually play the ball to Ganache on the right-hand side. Ganache cutting on his left foot. Cutting on his right foot to his left foot, took the left foot shot and deflected and scored. So you could say that he didn't do badly today, but yeah, man, it was a very 
um proper professional game again i can't say much to say that we played very well to the to the t because i wasn't watching the entire t of the game but i can see that we're making progress is we are giving all uh, the one this manager we're making progress man so let me know what you think in the game uh in the comment section below three points three goals scored and a, and a clean sheet as a cherry on top let me know what your thoughts on this on this game man um yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know your th let me know your thoughts. And Hoyland, I'm happy for Hoyland getting his goal. That was a very good goal. It was even on his right foot. Is I'm gonna you got two goals and also they're gonna show lovables on Twitter and on social media is gonna go all skirts out today and talk about gonna show oh he's the second coming to Christian Ronaldo this and that. You just have to expect it, man. This is the, this is the, the this this is the this is the generation we're living in. Person want this burden to be is in the second coming of Cristiano Ronaldo, so yeah, expect a, a couple of noise if you're a Man United fan. But yeah, man, we, we got three points today. Let me know your comments down in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Our brother is out.